What's going on YouTube? It's Al Hill and I'm back with another video for today. Today I am unboxing not one, not two, but three loot crates. These uh, built up at my house and I recently traveled home from my apartment to grab these so I'm not sure which ones these are. I'm going to open all three on video for you today, so I'm going to start with the smaller one here, and maybe if you're a subscriber, you know by the box size. I mean, it's recent within the last three, four months, depending uh, how long it's been, but I'm going to open this one first and then move on the other two, so I've been a subscriber to Loot Crate for about one year. Some of the stuff's been good, some of the stuff's been mediocre. I recently subscribed to the Marvel Collector Core, which... I'm very excited about that. I already know everything that's in there. I got the two first boxes and the third one I think just shipped. So I will have some videos on those. I'm going to do a comparison video between Loot Crate and Collector Core for people who aren't subscribed to either one currently and are trying to figure out what is the best option in them. I know there's some other options like the 1UP box and uh, Geek Gear and all that different stuff, but these seem to be the two most popular ones that I see right now. So this one has a little map and it looks like a like the Game of Thrones map and a sword, so let me grab out the t-shirt first, which is a dragon t-shirt, red t-shirt with a black dragon on it, interesting, get some different stuff in these every month, it's always no clue what you're going to get, uh, black tie geek, which is, got little dragons on it, it's yellow, I've gotten like an actual tie before too, with the asteroid box maybe, and it's got little asteroids on it. Uh, next we have Game of Thrones, custom USB flash drive. It's not too, not too bad. This is HBO, Loot Crate exclusive. I'm gonna open it and see what we get. Yep, see, it's uh, Stark. So I'm wondering if, uh, they gave out different ones or everyone got the same one. So, I wonder what size it is too. I bet it's not very big, probably two gig like the standard. Next we got the Princess Bride. I guess like game cards, like for uh, just playing like poker or something like that. It's kind of interesting. No clue what this is, looks like, looks like some costume piece or some armor or something like that. Let's take a look here. Oh. I don't know what the theme of this is. Fantasy. Gotta look at the button first. Unfortunately, it was under all the, under all the stuff, so. This is looks like a, oh, it's a blow up crown. So, that's real great. I could be like the Burger King King for Halloween and scare children. That's awesome. Blow this up later and go terrorize the neighborhood. Next is the Harry Potter bag tag, nine and three fourths like the train station so put this on your bag even if you're traveling to a magical land someone's gonna find it and you're gonna get your bag home so like I said there's the loot crate button can't really see it there it's blurry and here's a Game of Thrones house sigil magnet set it's actually kinda cool to put on your fridge for all, all four major houses there actually kind of like that. And then, what else do we have? The fantasy, you know, notebook here. It shows people who posted stuff, a little more information on, on what you got and everything else like that. The shirt, Dungeons and Dragons tee. There's your answer. So it gives you a little bit of information on what's everything inside and promotional. I'm still waiting to win the Mega Crate, probably like everybody else. So pull here t to turn this inside out. So there's that. So. Obviously, I'm going to continue to wear this crown thing unblown up during this video, unless you guys would really want to see me, but I kind of like to see me blow it up. I kind of like this part of it, like, now you look like the jester, not not an actual king. So, I'm playing fantasy right now. Let's go. Fantasy football. So, the next one is this sucker right here. Medium one. Hope you didn't see my address there, because I won't be home. <laughs> so, the next one. Got a keyboard on it, confirmed fingerprint access, so maybe this is the spy box or something. So let me find the pin first. Covert operation, so maybe I'll get a James Bond glasses to go with, and, and with this one here. So this is the shirt, this is stirred, ah, James Bond, just like I thought. 
There you go. This is stirred. He, he likes it shaken, not stirred. Classic line. And obviously, you're depressed with this shirt here because it was stirred. It wasn't shaken. And Bond doesn't play games when it comes to strength. Next, we got uh, some little lace here, a little clip. You know, like lanyard clip. So there must be something here to clip it to. Got a Ninjak code. Okay, field notes classified. Authorized personnel only for the seal, so I'm gonna unseal it. Right now on video. I'm unsealing classified information. So it's just two little loot crate memo books, like kinda like graph looking paper and a counter on it. So these aren't actually useless here. You can take notes. Field notes, I work in the field construction, so there you go. They knew. Next we have EFX Collectibles Marvel. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Loot Crate exclusive, so let's see what I got here. A little conflict of interest. Loot Crate got the Marvel stuff, and then Marvel's got their own box. Let's see how that goes. Maybe this is prior. So, ooh, inside here I've got a S.H.I.E.L.D. badge. So that's where I like clip on and then people would scan me in. I, I haven't watched a show yet. want to, so maybe that, maybe I'll figure out what that is. I guess that's how you get into the building. Let's see, next we got some bracelet thing with the loot crate logo on it then we have a blink time stealth watch ooh so it doesn't light up till you touch it and it's 810 I haven't I have no clue if that's right nope that's not right so maybe stealthy but you'll be late Mad Libs world greatest word game spy Mad Libs I think it'd be fun to do one right now and read it to you Top secret, loot crate, telling you about that, your mission, and what to do with that bracelet, covert book, and it's like a comic in here. Loot crate, exclusive orphan black. Don't really know if that's a comic, that's a show, I think, right? Don't know. So, nothing cool to wear, I guess, from that. Maybe I'll put this on to match my crown. So we have one box left. Yes, and all this, all this stuff's ending up on the floor in one big pile like it usually does for Loot Crate. I think so far I'm liking this Game of Thrones magnet set. Probably my cool, coolest thing I got. Maybe the flash drive's pretty cool. But the ones that are always weird shaped like that, I'm always skeptical that, you know, because they're weird shaped, you'll hit them and they'll break. So I've got one more left. Bear with me. I know sometimes Loot Crate can be disappointing. That's why I might be me be canceling soon because I'm, I'm digging the Funkos that you get in the Marvel crate and you know every two months it's not every month I'd rather you know save my money and get two or get one every two months versus uh, one every month you know I'm basically paying the same price and you're getting some cooler stuff so I guess I've accepted it so now the loot crate police will be here to, to, to get me I guess or to make me join the secret service of loot crate so yeah, I virtually can't see at this point. So here's the big box. So maybe we'll get something good in there. I think the other one I last opened was the Terminator box. Had a lot of goofy stuff. And then I didn't even see the movie yet. Didn't look too too great. So oh, this is kind of interesting. So here's the pen. This is Heroes 2. So I don't think I even got Heroes 1. I, once, I wasn't subscribed at the time. I don't think so. First thing we got is a Q-Pop. Batman classic TV series. Uh looks like Justice League Superman and Catwoman are advertised on the back. So this is kind of maybe like a Funko type imitation. The Q-Pop, I've never heard of this before. Quantum Mechanics Inc. QMX Online. So not a bad little figurine. Feels like it might actually you know, be worth something. Like some of the stuff you get in loot, some loot crates sometimes you're like, I would never pay for this or you don't feel like you're getting your true value. Even though this is pretty cheap, this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, Multi-tool, Batman, batter, Batrang here. Uh, flathead screwdriver, crosshead screwdriver, keychain and bottle opener. So that's useful. Next we have a Star Trek. See, I can, I can do it pretty quick. One hand, I can do it quick. The other hand, I kind of like, my fingers get stuck. Peace sign, or whatever you call it. I don't know, it's not a peace sign, but that air freshener. Hang that up in your window. People know you're down to Star Trek. Okay, next I got another wearable item here. A Zelda sweatband, or you want to call it a wristband, so. 
pop that sucker on because I'm sweating from my big inflatable rubbery crown. So now, now we're rocking. See, loot crate, you don't need to accessorize if you have a loot crate. Seems like we got a poster here. Hmm. She can do it. Wonder Woman. It's definitely one you want to hang up at the office at work. It's a great conversation piece. People will definitely make a lot of judgments about you. This is actually kind of cool looking. The League of Regrettable Superheroes. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. Probably goes over he heroes that they never should have uh, made. I don't know, uh, based on this box being Batman, this is probably all DC characters, you know, because of the Wonder Woman poster. I'm not sure, so. I wonder what uh, useless superhero I'd be with my Zelda band, Loot Crate band, and Inflatable Crown. Next we have a Rahala code. I guess this is a game for Steam. I like that, getting free games. Might, might check that out, doesn't look that interesting. And then there's the LC Magazine, Loot Crate Magazine. Star Trek and everything else, so. Great. So the box is kind of like a cityscape. Definitely play with my dolls in there, so. That's got me caught up on my Loot Crate unboxings. I'm a little bit more excited for the Marvel unboxings, which are coming up soon or before this, depending on what I feel like uploading. So this is my new channel. Make sure you subscribe. Maybe there'll be some more dress up going on in the future. Stay tuned for more videos. Thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Keep watching.